five minute fiddle. This is me fiddle and I'm playing the fiddle. I'm Ben. So today I'm going to look at jazz tunes in A flat. I'm going to start with the classic Donna Lee. It's a Charlie Parker tune based on the chords of another song called Indiana. Now Indiana is normally done in F, Donna Lee is done in A flat. <laughs> So it is a bit of a finger twister and that's why it's such a great one to play and use it as practice as well. Especially if you're going to play Indiana. The way I think is probably best is to learn Indiana in A flat and then you'll have the chords in your head already for when you come to play over Donna Lee. The tune is tricky but the chords are very similar. So here's Indiana. <laughs> Now Donna Lee is a bit more involved. To practice it, whether you do it by ear, whether you read the music to learn it, I would start slow. And really make sure you get every single one of those notes. And if you miss some notes, go a little bit slower. Also really make use of going to that third position, especially towards the end when you Going to third position there is, is really crucial. Moving on, there's a great tune called T for Two. Talking of third position, this one is where you've got to make a decision. Do you play the tune in the lower position or do you start off higher, which is what I prefer, and then you are in that third position. So again, third position is uh, very, very useful for this. Playing that tune, you could start here in the lower position. To start higher gives it a little bit more impact, each to their own though. So I would start in the higher position um, on the high A flat. And you could even play the tune like this. But for those who have watched my other videos, you know I'm a big fan of making life a bit easier. Um, and not to cross over strings quite so much and keep it all kind of in one place. So I would start in the third position. And this is where having that fourth finger strengthened and stronger comes into play as well. Go starting with that third position. That fourth finger is very useful because obviously there's not much chance to use the open E, the open A and the open D. So you will be using it. You've got the fourth finger on the B flat. You've got the fourth finger on the E flat, the fourth finger on the A flat and then higher up the fourth finger on the E flat again. Towards the end it becomes really useful especially if you're playing in the higher register because you've got to get up to that top F. So you can see the E flat, the high E flat is the fourth finger and then I'm using that same fourth finger to get to, to, get to the F as well, the high F. And then you can work your way down from there. Then you're back to that first position type of area. So there's a few hints for T for two. Third position, fourth finger. Really get it clear. It's a real swinging song, that one. So finally, looking at Tiger Rag. That's a real classic old tune. In fact, it was one of the first jazz songs to be recorded. I don't think it was the first, but it was the original Dixieland jazz band, I believe. Of course, you're starting in B flat with this one. If you're in A flat, you're starting in B, B flat. This is a nice one to get those double stops going on because the tune actually is 
But you're in a good position here to get those double stops in, obviously, for string players and instruments that can do double stops. <laughs> And they just give it that nice little bit of added pizzazz when you give that, get those double stops going. I also like to add a little... Because um, I think normally in the traditional version you've got a trombone that would do something similar to that uh, with its sliding capability. For this one being such an early tune, it's definitely worth playing along with those really early records of it to really get into the spirit of how they would have done it. Um, of course, add in your own flavour and however you like to do that. But I do like to practice along with those really old recordings, you know. So there's a few ideas, a few hints, a few tips from what the kind of thing that I would do in A flat with three tunes that I like to play quite often as well. I hope it's been of some use. To everybody watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time for some more 5 Minute Fiddle!